Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we started this business in Istanbul after an BOT tender of DHMI, Turkish Airport State Authority. Actually, when we were entering this tender, even we did not know what BOT stands for, because in 2000, the private station in airports were very rare, especially in the emerging markets. But Turkish government uh, decided to make private stations in airports because they have seen that airports are not just only infrastructure providers. They are commercial businesses. They have to face commercial disciplines. So they need private entities to manage airports. Together uh, with two construction companies, Tepe and Akfen, uh, two pure construction companies, together with Vienna International Airport established TAV, TAV, and we got this tender for only three years, eight months, 20 days. It was the shortest BOT period in the world. During the construction period, we want, uh, as a construction company, it was easy for us to, to manage the construction. We knew to, how to manage uh, projects. Project management is actually, in construction business, is very simple. I mean, you finish the project, you have to finish the project on time, uh, within the budget, and with the uh, required quality. So if you have done these three, then you become very successful in project management. But this was a BOT project. In BOT projects, okay, you finish the project on time, you may finish it within the budget, or you may finish it with the required quality, but it is not sufficient. You have to continue. You have to sustain the project and for, uh, create new windows of opportunity for future businesses. That was what we have done. That was our transforming point from construction company to an operating company. We first, during the operation period, we understood the uh, market. The market was very important for us. We, since we were in a commercial business, we wanted to see the future outcome in this uh, economy. First, we learned that there are 150,000 routes from Europe to the other parts of the world, and we understood that there is no any other economical activity to replace this economy, even the internet, that's why we are all here. We have to see each other, we have to make face-to-face -face meetings, uh, we, and we looked for the propensity to flight ratio of the emerging markets. In Turkey, it was only 0 0.49. You know, propensity to fly ratio is the passenger uh, number in a year in a country over the country's uh, population. It was 33 million in Turkey and the uh, population was 67. This year, it is 1.9. So there is really hu huge room uh, to grow even after these results. Now, passengers in the world, since it's a commercial business, passengers in the world now is much more sophisticated. They want easy access to the airports. They want a smooth check-in experience. They want fewer lines to stand in. They want comfortable waiting areas, nice duty-free shops, nice food and beverage areas so they are more sophisticated. So you have to give them. You have to supply the demands of the passenger. Airport business is not a solo business at all. If it is a solo business, then what you can do is, what you can do is you can operate only an airport and you can outsource the necessary commercial entities. This is the organizational chart which we have now. From here, you can easily see what we have done. I mean, we have a lot of airport companies. We are operating 12 airports in the world, and parallel to it, you can see that we have service companies. These service companies are the, uh, operating and handling the services in all our airport companies. Now, look at duty-free company. We have 50% share in that duty-free company. We are partners with Heinemann. Heinemann Group is one of the largest duty-free operators in the world. What we have done, we invited them in and we became partners with them. 
uh, this is not insourcing, this is not outsourcing, we call this co-sourcing. So we co-source the business. This is a unique type of structure in airport business. Why we co-source the business? We understood that we have to touch all passengers passing through the airport to enhance our revenue and to reduce our cost. Here in this organizational matrix structure, you can easily see the economies of scale and economies of scope. There is diversity, but at the same time, there is integration about all these companies. And we did not leave our roots. We still are constructing airports. Tau Construction Company is a spin-off of Tau Airports. While we were constructing Istanbul Atatürk Airport, we, uh, we, do not, we did not want to lose our ability, to lose our capability in construction. And now Tau Construction Company is the third largest construction company in the world, according to ENR ratings. To manage this structure is not easy. I mean, you, the definition of leadership there are many definitions of leadership, but a general one is they say that a leader has to conduct the forest. But I'm saying that without knowing the trees, you cannot conduct the forest. So with this structure, you have the ability to know the details. There is a saying, you know, there are, you find success in details, but at the same time, there is another saying, they say, you find devil in details. So which is true? If you are fast, if you are a sense of urgency, you find success in details. If you are slow and if you are complacent, you find devil in details. So we have to know the details of our business. And in Tau, we are trying to find all details, all the data. We are making data mining, converting it into uh, knowledge and uh, transferring this knowledge throughout all our companies. So connectivity is productivity in our motto in Tau. When you look at the region where we are working, we are working in the region where we have the geographical proximity and where we have the uh, common uh, cultures, cultural commonality. It is very important for us to work in these countries. Now, the red ones are the ones which we are building. It, they are only EPC contracts. The other ones are which we invested uh, and we are operating now. In these companies, again, we say that customer, uh, customer experience is very important. To improve the customer experience is our job. But how we can improve the customer experience? We can improve the customer experience only with happy employees, only with happy staff. If you do not have happy employees, our customers has no chance to be happy. So we concentrated and focus on the training and uh, educating and the happiness of our employees first. So uh, happy passengers, cr uh, sorry, happy employees create happy passengers and with happy passengers we increase our revenues and happy passengers ha makes our stakeholders and shareholders happy. So this was the another uh, way of uh, doing business in our uh, business. We established a company, Tau Academy. Tau Academy, together with ta uh, aviation mines in, from Lebanon, we are really doing a lot in Middle East in the education and training of the civil, a civil aviation staff. First, we were doing it for our own employees. Now we are uh, a a training other uh, employees of the other airports at the same time. So we, we really, this is our duty-free uh, company, ATU. This is our ground handling company working in Europe. This is our food and beverage company. Our operation company, they are working on the lounges, prime class, business lunches, lunches in the, all around the world, and our IT company. Uh, we give importance a lot uh, for the IT because uh, now our sophisticated passengers wants everything in their hands. 
in their iPads, in their iPhones, in their Black uh, Blackberries, and our IT company only specialize in airport IT systems uh, made this happen to us. So uh, the economies of scale and economies of scope are used uh, in detail with the practical application of IT systems. Uh, ability to manage multi-business. There are a lot of multi-businesses that we are doing. The only way to do to manage multi-businesses is actually connectivity. So we, uh, through CDM, you know, uh, you, I think in Europe there are two or three airports or four airports uh, are using CDM. CDM is collaborative decision making, as you know. But CDM is not just only punctuality, predicting the future for punctuality. CDM actually is a data facility we are using all the data, all the all airport stakeholders. And mainly we are managing all those stakeholders. So this is our advantage. This matrix type uh, organization is help, helping us a lot in all airports uh, and service companies to increase the revenue. When we started this business in 2000, we put a target, we said that in 10 years time, we are going to operate 10 airports. And by 2010, we were operating 10 airports. Now, uh, to achieve this target, we put a strategy. But uh, libraries of strategy actually means nothing if you cannot execute the business. So what we have done, first we put our strategy, then we put, uh, we put our target. According to our target, we put our strategy. We put the right people on the right seats, and then we implement it like hell. This is the formula in the success of, of Tau. Uh, ability to uh, uh, consolidate and ability to integrate the businesses at the airport is helping a lot. Construction is very important in PPP tenders, public-private partner tenders, because we are mainly developing businesses. We are not buying EBITDAs in the market. We are uh, developing businesses. To develop businesses, you need construction companies. In our uh, project finance group in the holding, we have 25 financial uh, guys working on it. Why? Because we need to finance our projects. We cannot only give the job to the banks and wait them to finance your project. Your team has to be very, very educated to finance this project. So construction team predicts the uh, capex, financial team and operational team predicts the revenue and opex and gives the interest amount. Then this is the magical formula to make an airport happen. So we have uh, invested in 12 airports, and we were successful to make those airports happen uh, to the sector. Now, Tau is an emerging market company. We do not have the luxury to be complacent. We are together with our team uh, working a lot uh, to do our business in the right way, because efficiency is not important if you are doing wrong things. So first, we are trying to do the right things, and then we are uh, chasing the efficiency to be an efficient airport. Uh, I would like to uh, thank you all for listening to me. Uh, this is actually the story of Tau, an emerging market company uh, established in Istanbul, born in Istanbul, and now is one of the uh, important uh, players in the world in uh, the construction operation of airport and airport services. Uh, I am the board member of ACI. I always thank to my colleagues to have these uh, meetings in, in, in here in Istanbul. Really, we have been uh, for many years keen to welcome you all in Istanbul. Uh, when you look at our uh, story, uh, I was uh, two, 10 years back, it was my first time I attended one of the ACI meetings. Nobody knew me, I was just sitting back uh, there and uh, they, did not, they never invited me for speaking in ACI meetings because nobody knew me. But uh, one of uh, my friends 
told me that you will start uh, to speak in ACI meetings, but you have to, they have to know you and know your company. And I asked him whether he was speaking or not. He said that yes, he is speaking, but now he is only taking slots at five o'clock or six o'clock in the evening. And he told me a story. He told me that once he took the floor uh, to make his speech, and there was only one participant listening to him. He and he said that I mean he thanked to it, that guy and said him that I mean thank you very much that you are interested in my subject. But the guy said there is no need to thank to me because I am the speaker after you. So, <laughs> so uh, now I come to uh, afternoon, afternoon speeches. Thank you very much. Oh, bye. Thank you.